Close your eyes and settle in with the breath. Try to make a home here in the body. You can do it by the way you breathe, by the way you focus on the breath. If you put too much pressure on your focus, it squeezes the nerves. Too little pressure, of course, and you, the mind just floats away. So find the amount of pressure that's just right. Find a spot in the body that you can make comfortable by the way you breathe. And then enjoy it. Concentration practice is meant to be enjoyed. Because if there's a sense of joy, then it's easy for the mind to settle down. And it's easy for the mind to look at itself objectively and see in places in the past where it hasn't been all that skillful. This is a useful exercise at the end of the year. Cast back on the year, think about the mistakes you've made. But come from a position of feeling well here in the present moment. So you don't go into denial, you don't get into a lot of self-criticism. Just know, okay, that was unskillful, this was unskillful. This, however, was skillful. Sort through your actions in the air. And then decide what needs to be changed, what can be improved. What things are good, already good, you want to maintain them. The things that need to be changed, well, you've got another chance. This breath, this breath, you've got a chance with this breath. And then it goes through all the breaths of the year. If you're thinking that way, then it's an auspicious year. So give yourself a sense of well-being right here, because it makes the work a lot easier. You're going to be staying here in the present moment, and it's a lot easier to stay here when there's a sense of comfort, when there's a sense of feeling refreshed by the breath, refreshed by the fact that you're putting down a lot of your ordinary responsibilities, ordinary cares, and just here with the breath in and of itself. Learn to appreciate that. And then we go to work. In other words, we start looking at the mind's defilements, the unskillful things it's done. And you ask yourself why you did them and how you could change. This is a principle that goes all the way through from the very beginning of the practice all the way up to the very end. And as the Buddha said, suffering comes from our actions, but the end of suffering can also come from our actions. Of course, they're different actions, and that's the whole point. You have to figure out what actions lead in the right direction and encourage the mind in that direction. That way, you just think about the new year coming up. You get a better idea of what kind of resolutions you want to make for the new year in terms of what needs to be improved and how to go about improving it. And having the mind settle in here with a sense of ease makes it a lot easier to stick with those resolutions, too. So learn how to appreciate the sense of well-being that you can create right here. In the beginning, it may not be overwhelming and may not be all that striking, but at least it's lighter than your ordinary states of mind. Okay, take that light sense of well-being and nurture it, protect it, look after it, because it will grow. And as it grows, it gives you a better and better sense of the longing here in the present moment, and you're more and more likely to want to do the work that needs to be done in the present moment, and feel that you have the resources to do it.